Hey, this is YVR with Automation, the car company tycoon game, and we are going to do another scenario. This scenario is called Gentleman's Disagreement, and we're actually almost done with the scenarios. You see this? We got this one, and then one more, and we're done. So anyways, the story goes, the gentleman's agreement is becoming a real pain in the muffler. Your hands are tied and knocking competitors out of the park with the brand new V12 power Gran Turismo Coupe of yours would have been a pleasure. Now your competitors are catching up instead with their fancy turbocharged coupes. Your company is the biggest automotive maker of the country. Time has come to show off your research department's butt-kicking potential and make your competitors struggle against some real high-tech 276 HP. Or horsepower. And something funny I just see... Uh, it says 276 here, and then only 275 here. It's like, oh, but I wanted to make 276. Too bad. Okay. So, anyways, let's go ahead and design this car up. And, um, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> I'm just reading limitations and specifications. Uh, based on that, though, I think we're going to go for a real lightweight, sporty thing. So, monocoque chassis, which I would use pretty much always, it seems like, because it's always uh, more beneficial for the requirements they have. It's overpowered. Simple as that. Uh, material, let's go glued aluminum. It's lightweight and relatively cheap. Engine placement, we'll do front longitudinal because I'm thinking this is a sports car. And a sports car needs an engine be front longitudinal, not front transverse. Just, no. I mean, you can make a sporty car with front transverse, but not a sports car, as far as I'm concerned. So anyways, we'll go ahead and do double wishbone front and back because those are very sport-oriented suspension setups and it has good tameness as well. I think multi-link might be a bit better actually, so you know what, let's do multi-link in the back and then double wishbone in the front because it is better for the requirements, so I think it'll be worth it. Drive type, we'll go ahead and just do rear wheel drive because I'm just thinking like 90s sports car and you could say maybe, you know, most of them were rear wheel drive. You got the, sky the Skyline as the only uh, all wheel drive one I could think of and then even then not, all, not every Skyline was um, all wheel drive. But you got like the, the S15, the S14, the RX7, the NSX, the Supra, those are all rear wheel drive only. So that's why I'm doing rear wheel drive. That's, that's my logic behind it. Don't like it? Too bad. That's my logic, man. So let's see, we'll go that car or that. Those aren't very different, are they? One's just a fat version of the other one. Well, since economy is important, sporting this will use a smaller one and a lighter weight one. And for color, let's go blue. I don't usually use blue, but blue looks pretty good. Uh, we need, for the sportiness and tameness, we're going to probably need pretty fat wheels, so although it's ugly to some extent, we're going to need those big fenders for function. It's that simple. We're going to need them for function. Alright, so let's see. Let's make the, uh, let's make that sloped as possible because I really like the sloped windshields. Make it really sloped. There we go. That looks good. Whoa. Oh, goodness. What is that? Things get a little funny when you do that. The car, it looks like you split the car in half and glued it back together. Uh, no, 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 I'm making a, I'm trying to go for a realistic here, car here, so we're not going to have none of that. I don't want to make it look like the car is split in half and glued black back together. That's a little bit of a visual glitch right there, so we'll put it like that. I actually almost want it to not have a window here, just be one window. That'd be kind of cool, just say, mm, 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 and I think it would look a little bit better, but that's not the way it's going to go, so too bad for me. It sucks. Uh, trunk, let's make it, mm, let's make it really tiny. Let's just make a real tiny looking car. Uh, what else can we do here? Mm, did that, did that. Uh, we could do the hood. Let's make it nice and... Let's see, do we want it big and upwards? Nah, let's make it nice and smooth like that, like that way. Uh, what can we do here? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, wait, there's like, there's a bunch of pieces here you can mess with. I like that, the whole very really pointed and aggressive look right there. That looks good. Can you do anything? Oh, the back end's boring. You see that? You got all this fancy stuff you could do there, and the back end's like, I got one button. And you could just pull it farther and closer. It's like, I said, front end got all these little details and stuff. I like that more aggressive look on it, though, like that. So let's uh, let's go ahead and use that as design. I think it's working out okay. So we'll use that. And fixtures. So I'm thinking 90 sports car. So we're going to start with the grill, because I always start with the grill. And we're going to put the grill right here. And one thing, I don't know why, but it seems like a lot of, I don't like that, oh. Why am I on the, uh, this grill? This grill. Try that grill. Weird. It doesn't look black, does it? Maybe it's just a shape. Uh, let's try this one. What's this one shaped like? Uh, they'll have these. Uh, here, this one looks better. There we go. That one has a more dark look to it. I want that darker look. Uh, but I'm thinking, though, like a lot of 90 sports cars had this thing where they would have one grill in the middle, 
And then they have like two smaller ones on the side, so like something like this maybe. Yeah, that actually kind of works out. I actually, I actually kind of like the way that looks. Uh, let me make this one a little bit taller to match the height a little bit better. Yeah, I kind of like the way that looked though. It actually works out pretty good. It's not great. Everything I design is never going to be great. We should know that by now. But that kind of like, that looks a lot like a lot of 90s uh, sports cars did. Because I know, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking like, I know the Super had something like that. I'm pretty sure the S15 had something like that. And the RX-7 had something like that, I know. So it's, um, it, it works. I, I mean, it's a, it's a real thing they did. Now, as for lights, I would put pop-up lights on it. I like pop-up lights. <laughs> Uh, they were getting really out of date right as this car came out, but I still like them. Instead, how about this? Let's go with um, let's go with these headlights. These ones look like they'll work. Put it right there. Uh, eh, eh. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, wait. Well, you know what we could do is we can really make it more look like an S15 when you have really long headlights like that. But that, I don't know. It doesn't seem to match the body style like that to me. Mm, no, I like the other lights better. I had to check though. I had to check. Just like that. That looks, uh, well, looks a little too sloped over. Alright, we gotta lower this this part a bit. Just a bit. There we go. How's that look? Alright, I like that. I don't know if we have enough cooling, though. We might have to make it a little bit bigger. Just so we have a little bit more cooling. Because I'm going for style, but we do need to keep this engine cool, you know. That still looks pretty good, though. And I like that. The lights, they look good. And... That looks alright. You, you know, for me designing the car, that's pretty good. So far. I still have time to ruin the tail lights. Let's see. I wonder, can we just, uh, what if we tried to duplicate the super tail lights? Oh, we don't have to duplicate them. There's a super tail lights button. What does that look like? Uh, no, that looks terrible on this car. Super headlights don't match this body style. Uh uh. No, 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 nope. Just doesn't look right, man. Maybe it's just I'm so used to seeing super tail lights on supers, it has to be on a super. I don't know. But no, no, no. Uh, but that's what those tail lights look like. They look exactly like they just grabbed them off a super and put them in the game. That is exactly what they look like, man. Um, so those don't work. Let's try, um. Uh, what if we did Skyline style where you just have uh, dots like this and. I don't know, smaller, maybe. Nah, that's not gonna work for this body style. This body style sucks for lights, man. Or maybe I just I just suck at putting tail lights on. We've been over this. Right, what if we put on? Um, you know what? I never. I always say I don't like the tail lights going over the trunk and the sides, but for this car, it might actually work out to have the tail lights being on the trunk and on the car. So you would have to imagine that as a split for the trunk. But I think that actually works out a little bit better. Maybe make them a little bit longer. Just a little bit, just like that. That looks uh. Eh, I'm not feeling that design. Eh, not quite. Try this design instead. Well, you know what? Maybe I would feel that design if I didn't stretch them out. I think it looked good before I stretched it out like a dummy. What if I stretch them like that? There we go. That looks better. Looks alright. I think that looks pretty decent. So let's go ahead and put a badge on it. What badge do you want to use? This badge. There we go. Put it up more. Ah, ah. There we go. Perfect. And we could also put a little spot for the license plate. So I like doing those. So let's go grill, square one, and I think this is the one. There we go. We'll make this a, a US license plate shape. So we gotta make it tall and fairly fat. Mm, that looks about right. Just a rough estimate, I know, but it'll work. It's not straight, it's all bending with the body, but who cares? Shh. We'll just bend the license plate. Nobody will know. Right, what else do we need? We got tail lights. Do we need indicators? Well, I don't think we need indicators on the back because you see how these ones like overhang like that. So that's good. The front doesn't have some at all. So we'll throw some on the front. We'll just put one like right here. There we go. That looks good. Let me move that out the way. There we go. That looks pretty reasonable. I like that. And um, let's see. We got that. Vents. We got some in the front. I know, I know it would probably look good if we had something that kind of gave a little bit more shape to the body right here instead of being flat. But... I don't think any vents really do that. Like if we tried to maybe use this one, it might just give it a little more shape to it. Might look nice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, uh, nah. It doesn't. It looks more 80s. That looks 80s. 
No, maybe, ooh, maybe we could do a vent uh, right here for like the uh, the, the wheel. That might look okay. So, I mean, it doesn't do us any good for cooling, but it might look cool. So we have something kind of like this, maybe. Oh, there's a little bit of visual glitchiness there. So we did something like that. How's that look? Eh, it looks okay, but it doesn't look 90s. Like that's kind of almost like what my RX-8 has. Now that I think about it. So it looks good, but it's not the time period. So we're gonna keep it clean like that. I like the front, the way that front turned out, the the, the triple grill, I guess you could say, or whatever. That looks good. Lights look all right. Blinkers look pretty decent. Tail lights turned out a lot better than I expected. Uh, overall, this looks oh fairly okay. I mean, for me designing, it's amazing. For anybody else designing, it, it's pretty okay. You know, I'm just I'm not a good designer, so pretty okay is as good as it gets. So that'll be uh, what we do. Let's go ahead and move on to the engine then. Right? Oh, oh, wait a minute. How are you going to open these doors? You just, oh, I can't open the door. Just scratch it. I can't do it. No, we need a door handle. We need a door handle. I almost forgot about a door handle. That would have been terrible. And um, let's do something slightly fancy. We'll do something like these handles. Just a little fancy. Just because it's a nicer car. There we go. That'll work. And, uh, ooh, do we want a lip on the back? It might match the front a little bit better, actually, now that I think about it. Because the front has a really, like, aggressive, low kind of look to it. So I'm thinking the lip on the back might match that up pretty good. That actually does work out. I think I like the lip. Makes it look a little, uh, sportier. <laughs> it looks like the front end is way lower than the rear, though. Even with the lip. What is that nonsense? What if we do it? Uh, no. No! No, don't mess with the license plate! Oh, I'm ruining everything. Oh, no. Put that there. Okay, there we go. It's good to go. Don't touch it again. It looks okay. <laughs> That's as good as I can ask if I'm designing it. I want to make sure all my tech sliders are off. Um, I'll, I'll just say this now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch every tech slider up to... Or tech and quality slider up to where the tech is at zero. I'm not going to say I'm doing it because I'm just... It'd be re really repetitive, but I'm going to do that anyways. Uh, on everything because that seems to work out pretty well. Anyways, let's build this engine. We're going to start off with a V8. We want a V flat plane or a V8. I can never decide. Like, I'm never quite sure which of these. I'm like, oh, I like them both for this thing. I know you can say, we'll use inline four, inline six. I don't want to. I like V8s for... To me, inline fours make sense when you're going really for efficiency. Inline sixes, I don't know. I don't know what they're good for, really, to me. As weird as this, it's like, I don't, I don't know. To me, it's like, I'll just go with a V8. And I mean in this game more specifically than real life. Real life, there's more exceptions to that. But uh, in this game, it seems like, you know, let's go with a, a V8. So, boring stroke, I won't touch. I'll come back to that later. Uh, cast iron, though. Cast iron, cast iron, because it's cheap. And I'm not going to be making more than 275 horsepower, so we don't need anything real fancy there. In fact, since economy is important, we'll do a low friction cast, because that will increase the economy and make a more economical car, which is important in this situation. Alright, we're going to do dual overhead cams with a 5 valve setup because economy is again important. And whenever economy is important, I'll put I'll dump all my budget into that. It may not be the smartest thing to do, but I, I feel like I should. So we're going to do that. Uh, cast iron is again all we'll really need probably for this thing all around cast iron. Uh, compression cam profile I'll come back to later after I get a baseline run with this engine. We will put VVT on them all, though. And tech pool, see that? Uh, tech pool has been penalized. Look at that. So that means we need to put the quality up a ton, but it'll be worth it, hopefully. I don't know if we mean... I should put it at 8, I guess? I don't know. I'm not positive on that. We'll just put it at 7. We'll put it at 8 and then bring it back down if we need to. So, mm, oh, I forgot to put the V... I always forget that. I always forget to put the VVL button. I also always forget to put the cool colors on the head. I like the... Um, the heads and stuff. I never design it. I always forget about that too. So what what do we want for the design, huh? See, the car itself is blue, so we should have a blue color. Actually, I kind of like that shiny color though. Uh, what does? I guess I gotta choose the style first. I chose the color first, but I like that one actually that we just had. That one looks good. It matches the car to me. All right, no turbo though. We're not messing with that. We're gonna just use naturally aspirated. That's why we chose a V8. You could probably do a turbo four-cylinder, but I chose a V8, so I wouldn't have to. We're going to use an injection system. We're going to probably use a 
a multi-point EFI just because it's it's more fuel efficient. You see, very high versus high. Very high is very good. And I don't know if we really... I don't think we really need a twin setup, but it's not that much more than a single. I'm not sure if it'd be worth the benefit or not, though. So we'll do a twin. We'll just do a twin. And race intake. Yes, race intake. I'm going crazy here. And uh, fuel type. R premium and lead is what it says we have to use, so let's do what it says. Reduce the fuel mixture down as much as possible because we got to be fuel efficient. Increase the ignition timing a little bit because that always seems like good luck to do. Increase the RPM limit to a nice even number because I like my even numbers. Um, let's go to the muffler page and all that. Uh, headers, let's see. Cast log, those are ugly. Short cast, those are ugly. <laughs> you know what? I don't care if it makes no sense. Race tubular is just, and long tubular, they just look beautiful, man. I mean, look at that. That is just some fancy, fancy, like, craftsmanship here. Like, that, that one, too. That one's also some beautiful kind of stuff. This one's like, oh, this, rah, 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 put it on and make the engine go. Like, there's no soul to it. This has soul, man. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, my goodness. I forgot an exhaust on the car. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, what kind of exhaust do I have? Do I want a dual or a thing? I don't have an exhaust. I keep hitting the wrong button now because I'm so freaked out. Like, I forgot an exhaust. How do you forget an exhaust, man? I don't know. I'll do a single exhaust, so I'll only put a single exhaust on the car. Oh, the lip is going to mess up the look of the exhaust, though. Maybe, uh... Uh... Let's see. I guess we'll have to just have it above the lip. It's not what I would want, but I don't have much option here. Then They need to just allow you to put the exhaust wherever, and if it just hangs out in the nowhere, that's fine, because it's my decision. I know if it hangs out in nowhere... It'll look okay. Like, if it's hanging out way down by the lip, it's un on purpose. It's okay. Game, I want it there. But it's like, no, you gotta put this thing where it would actually make sense. On the body, at least. Alright, let's go for... We need 275 horsepower, so a 2.75 diameter should be good. Uh, we don't need mufflers or anything, really. There's nothing that says we need it, so we won't put it on. Just get out of here. We don't need your worthlessness. Alright, does it run? See, and the dyno always spoils it. The chart right here, if it has big numbers, it'll at least run. It can still knock so hard it blows itself off, but, um, considering I didn't touch the compression, I have fancier gas, I don't think that'll happen. And, okay. It makes a bit more power than I needed, and I only needed two, well, actually, I can't have more than 275. Although I believe in the re in real life, when Japan had their whole gentleman's agreement thing, uh, what they ended up doing is they just said, oh yeah, it makes 275 horsepower, and it would make more than that. And they just like, I don't care. You can't tell me what to do. Now, the engine was also knocking, though, so what we could do is just lower... Well, we could lower the compression, or since this is a race car, we could just put the cam profile up a ton and increase the compression, and I'm pretty sure this will still run. And it just makes a faster car and more power, and... Uh-oh. No, it's not. Something's going to go bad. I can tell by the dynograph. It's going to be worse because the dynograph tells all. It's probably going to... gonna The compression is too high and it's going to explode. Oh, it didn't explode. So maybe the compression will be lower, and I mean the fuel requirement will be lower because of the cam profile. Nope, but it is knocking. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Well, since we're making so much power, what if we just said decrease the bore some, and did another run? So the power is more in line with what we want. But there's still some other problems around here. What if we, uh, I know this was a, a good solution before for like all kinds of things. Is what if we increase the quality of the fuel system a ton? Oh, look at that. Oh, goodness. Why did my power go down? Something's reaching its RPM limit. What part is reaching its RPM limit? I hit the wrong button again. Alright, so what's, what's breaking? How dare you break on me? Who do you think you are, you? Alright, well, it's not even that breaking though. Hmm. Oh, that's 302 horsepower. Well, that explains why I thought I thought I said 202. I'm like, why is it making less power? It's not. It's making more power. Oh. Okay. My bad. So, there we go. We got 252 horsepower. So, I guess we could increase this one. We'll make it like a 3 liter engine. How about that? And there. 299. So, it rounds up to 3.0. <laughs> Just throw in the car without testing it. No, we got to test it. 269, and that is really right about where we want to be. Economy's pretty good. 
uh, I think that'll work. I mean, we can always come back and tweak it more later. Like, uh, I don't know if the reliability will be high enough, so we could probably switch the intake and that, yeah, that increases the reliability a ton, but also reduces the economy. So, you know, we have things we can do depending on what the car tells me to do. For now, though, that'll be what we use. Hopefully, I didn't spend too much money on the, uh, the injection system and stuff. I put, like, 12 plus on that. Uh, that might come to mess with me later on. We'll see. So, uh, tameness and sportiness means we don't need an automatic transmission. Sportiness and stuff, that means just throw a six-speed in it. And top speed, it says 175, so we'll do 175. Just trust the game. If it says the estimated top speed is 175, put it at that. And we don't have much choice on the differential, so we won't do anything there. Put semi-slicks on this, but really fat semi-slicks. It's, it's good for you. Very good grip. Very, very good grip. Who cares about anything but grip? That's it. That's, like, that's as simple as that. Who, you don't need anything else as long as you have grip. Alright, brakes. Let's do two piston. It's not is like the, the bare minimum one piston, but it's, a, it's just a little bit more. And pad type, I'm going to actually put it up to race. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. Because every other time, comfort is important. Here, nobody cares about comfort, which is so nice. Because that's like how I would drive. That's, that kind of, that's how I go when I buy a car. I don't care about comfort. I care about tameness and sportiness, and I don't even care about economy. Why do you think I drive rotaries? Uh, who cares? So we're going to do fully clad, though. And we put the brake airflow up, because I'm pretty sure that helps for reliability. And we'll go to the next page. I don't know why I did fully clad. I just kind of picked it at random. Let's go and see the car. There we go. That exhaust sticks out quite a bit, doesn't it? Looks like somebody has a, the third party exhaust from the, from the factory. Oh well. Interior, let's go basic. There's no reason to have a fancy one. No insulation, and you know what? No quality on the interior. Because that means it's uh, cheaper and lighter weight, which is probably beneficial here. Entertainment, none. Driver assists, um, I'll come back to those. I'm not sure if you'd want those. And safety is none, because they will probably reduce the sportiness, but they might increase the tameness. I don't know which way it would go. Uh, suspension, just throw a race setup on it. That's it. We don't even have to raise it up because we don't have to care about comfort. All right, does that work? We got ourselves a bronze, sort of. We need more tameness, and it is way too expensive, and I'm pretty sure that's because of my crazy injection system, which I said, oh, let's, yeah, let's not do that. Then let's put it back to a, a normal, reasonable number of one. And we'll just reduce the compression a little bit. That should work out fine. So let's do something like that. There we go. And it's a hundred times cheaper. Well, the reliability went down the drain a bit, that's for sure. Oh, that's because I switched the intake. The standard intake helps reliability a ton. Did I need, do I need the standard intake? That's the question. Let's see, we'll put on the race intake, and if it says we need more reliability, we'll throw on the standard one. All right, we do not need the reliability, but we do need some tameness, which uh, we could probably get if we just made it all-wheel drive. That'll probably make us get some tameness. Ooh, right into gold. That was interesting. We went from bronze, well, not even really in bronze, straight up to gold. Look at how much tameness went up by, though. Look at that. It's 43-point improvement, and we only need 29 more points to get us uh, to platinum. So what could we do for that? What about the assists? Do any of those help? Let's uh, try putting them all on. Does that help? It helps by 11. So that might mean they're not worth it. I don't know. Whoop, that helps by 10. So some are worth it, some aren't. How confusing. Oh, that one's not worth it. So which one is not worth it? Power steering. Well, that's, I don't like power steering, honestly, in my car. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I messed up the math there. Hold on. Okay, we do want the uh, traction control, and probably we want stability control because that's for good for tameness. Yeah, um, but I was just saying I do like I like the way the RX-7 felt a little bit better because that didn't have power steering. My RX-8 has power steering. Yeah, the RX-7 had a bent frame and screwed up suspension, so when you're going highway speeds, you're shaking your arm like, oh my god. But man, at least it, it felt so it felt like so connected to the road. All right, oh, we forgot to do that quality slider. That's not good. Uh, make sure all those are good. I'm just might, might have missed some or something. I don't know. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any quality sliders. Real quickly, they all look good. Oh, there's one I missed. Oh, I can't do that one. 
You know, just so it doesn't drive me crazy. Can I do this? Put the safety on and nope. Really? I can't do this slider at all? Weird. Huh. I don't know why that is the case, but okay then. I won't bother with it. Uh, so how's that do again? Eight more points. That should be easy. Oh my goodness, I just realized this thing gets 56 miles to the gallon. That is a great gas-efficient vehicle we've made here. Now, what if we made the engine lighter by using aluminum? Because this thing doesn't weigh much. All right, that helped. So, how much money we got? We got four hundred dollars. But the cost is also a f uh, oh. Well, we'll just throw aluminum uh, aluminum heads on this. See if that helps or not. Does it help? Aluminum heads? No, no aluminum heads. Just aluminum block. What about a s uh, aluminum silicone or whatever it is? No, that's even worse. It's too expensive. Oh, I did that on the block. Oh, jeez. I meant the aluminum silicone on the head. You dummy. I'm the dummy. That's a problem. That is way too expensive. I didn't even look at the cost. I'm just clicking buttons. I'm like, wait a minute. That is ridiculously expensive. All right, do we need a single or twin? Can we get away with a single? Will that help us? Because it's cheaper, and I don't think it'll affect the performance itself much. Oh, nope. I guess twin did help enough in the performance, really. I want to see that. How much does the twin actually help in performance? It just helps in responsiveness. But the price and stuff goes up, but I think I got a better score. Oh, it's the same score. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, really. Uh, you know what? We could probably do something with the tires. I just threw those kind of at random. I bet if we threw a bigger rim on it or something, that would help. Oh, yep, there we go. Platinum! And that is quite a bit platinum, actually. <laughs> It was like, it really jumped from putting bigger rims on it. No! Now it went down. Smaller rims. Oh, that's why. It reduced the tire width. See, I'm not good at paying attention to that. Oh, it, it did reduce it when we went to 16s, too, though. But it was worth it, because 16s puts us way up there. So that is... That one actually went pretty smoothly, I think. Uh, it looks fairly reasonable, even the car itself. Like, it really does look, um... Uh, S15 influence now that I'm kind of looking at it, like the, the, the lights and stuff, it kind of reminds me of that. If these lights were longer, it would really look like an uh, 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 older Nissan S15. Even the backing kind of, I think that's kind of similar to the taillights they have. Like I'm pretty sure they have really, s so actually I think that might even be exactly, those might be designed after an S15. But don't those guys have really unusual wings to them? Like, they got these really weird wings that go like choom choom, and they have a middle thing too, so it's like a, a tri wing. It's weird. I can't even. Um, let me see here. Let me make, let me like fake it, just because, man, it really does look like an S15, even though I didn't mean to. Uh, let's see. So they have a wing set up that's kind of like this. So you go, mm. I'm just doing this just to demonstrate. And then they would have a, in the middle of the wing, it would have something like this. Did I pick a different wing in the middle? Oh, well. Try that again. I must have hit the wrong thing. There we go. That's better. But their wings would be something like that. We would have like a, tr a triple setup. Not a gap right here. Uh, that would be actually a solid piece, but I can't make it any smaller. But they have a setup like that kind of in their actual a real S15. When I'm just noticing like I use the brake lights from one, and then the front end has very similar headlights. Like These would probably be a little more elongated to be really like one. And it was really more coincidental than anything. I didn't mean to do it intentionally. It just it just sort of happened. And going off of memory, it's it's really hard to do this off of memory, but I don't, I don't know where these would be. I, ca I can't think where, if even if it would have indicators. So I, I don't know where those would go for sure. But even this front setup, that is like really similar to it. I just thought about it. You can't choose mirrors in this game. You can't choose a mirror at all. And I don't know what the mirrors look like from a uh, that car, so I don't know how similar it actually is. I can't think. I mean, I'm I'm doing pretty amazing trying to just go these details off the off top of my head, anyways. As far as I'm concerned, um, like you know, I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, "Those headlights are totally wrong. What are you doing? That's t that's a totally different car you're thinking of." I'm like, "Yeah, that's probably probably right. That's probably gonna happen." Like, I don't I don't think they really go that deep. I swear, just the placement. I should probably have more like uh, that, I think, or something. I don't know. Uh, my goal wasn't to make an S15. It just sort of happened. 
accidentally. I accidentally made a very well-known car. Uh, but anyways, that'll do it. Uh, that is a platinum run on a kind of real, coincidentally, S15 clone. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say that, just go to uh, Google, type in Nissan S15, you'll find the car I'm thinking of. Anyways, wait a minute. Maybe the indicator would be here. I don't know. I'm just like, oh, that doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right either. Maybe it didn't have an indicator. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it did. I can't. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I didn't look this up beforehand. I would have if I knew I was going to end up making an S15 accidentally. I didn't know that would happen, though. Wait. What is 15 has a V8, though? Wait, they don't have V8s normally. All right. All right. Enough is enough. Uh, so, anyways. That is the gentleman's disagreement. We have one more mission left, or scenario left, and we're done with scenarios. And I don't know what we'll do after that, for sure. But we'll probably do something, because this game's pretty fun. So... Until next time, this is more YBR. I'll see ya. Quick bonus, look! I think the wing helped. It reduced the economy, but look! It increased the sportiness and tameness. That's all.